G'day mate, I'm Dual Tax Guy. How you going? Welcome to Elden Ring. Now, I have been playing this quite a lot. I'm like 13 hours of gameplay so far. I finally, after 10 hours, managed to kill the first boss, but I also wanted to do a recording series and all that on it. So that's what I'm here to do. So anyway, let's just shut up and get started. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and to my channel to help support and also don't forget to like the um, game if you want to. So I've played the Bang Banger Board Hero Samurai. Uh, Samurai I found easier compared to, or Hero is probably the, one of the easiest classes to start. This is just more if people are curious about easiest ones. I'll end up looking up, apparently the Astrologer is meant to be the, the easiest class. So what I'm going to do is load my character because I've been mocking around with a uh, full and deal tactic because that way I have a separate one for my solo playthrough and that one I have for here. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and I'll let this intro play on its own. The fallen leaves tell a story. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shard of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ogmir, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the elder And become the Elden Lord.
Oh, I'm back. I don't know why I said it that way. Don't mind the Christmas llama. I just like it because it's a llama shirt and there's llamas on it. Anyway. So I've never played a magic user at all on any of these Dark Souls like games. But uh, wish me luck. It is a gorgeous game though. I will give it to that bad boy. That's ear blasting me. It is gorgeous. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, that's dope. I Sorry, I've just never played. I didn't realize I needed a wand. I couldn't work out why I couldn't use spells with my other characters. I learned some, but could not work it out for the life of me. Oh, this doesn't look like a trap or anything, does it? I'm gonna pretend like this is... Oh, wow. This is... Until I run out of mana, then obviously. Unfortunately, I... There's nothing you can do here. You're just meant to die. I really want to know, though... There'd be some freak out there, though, who's actually managed to win, you know? By playing, like, I meant win. Like, managed to kill that boss. I really... I am curious to know what happened. Maybe maybe later on for the day... Like, later on down the track. Not for the day. Later on down the track, it might be me, but at this point... Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Oh my. They, they, they said the thing. They said the thing. So, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, in my very first play, it's only because I recently started a new one because I fucked up with all my characters because, uh, I've been stuck on the first boss for like legit, not even joking, 10 hours before I actually killed him. Uh, and I found out that there's this item you can acquire, but I killed the said person that sells the item and kind of just screwed over my game. So I had to start again. So I've seen this intro so many times. Alright. This is a part that I missed out. I didn't realize I had to drop down here for like a tutorial thing. I'm not even joking. Yes, we all know that. Damn. Guarding. 
I'm a wizard! Run, run. It's crazy to think that there's an actual... Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Don't forget. The other part of that spin is the fact that there's crafting and everything. I didn't think I was... The way to explain it is that it's Dark Souls, but... Um... Zelda, Breath of the Wild. That's legit the way to explain it. I want some out of the Jews a swap to us. That was. That was actually really sweet. I. Delicious. Up oh, and stab. Yeah, I don't realize you can move in. See, if you move and then use like the thing to sneak attack, it actually causes him a swing. So to actually get the proper sneak attack, you have to uh, stop all movement. It's so frustrating. Fuck my pain. Yeah, strongly. Yeah, we get to our in first boss fight. This is just teaching you about boss fight. Oh my god! Where has this build been my entire life? This, as you saw, this is just the start. Like, this ain't me messing with it. Oh, the other thing you gotta get used to is tomb raiding and dungeon diving. That's where you get... So, if you come across a bunch of, um, sarcophagus, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, grave, uh, yeah, sarcophagus, that's all. I don't know what they call them. Uh, coffins, concrete coffins, whatever it is. So, pretty much what you see there. If you see a bunch pretty much on the surface just chilling, go to them. Because you'll find those, um, ru ruin essence ball thingies so that you crush them to get their ruins. You find stacks of them. They actually want you to tomb raid, pretty much. Little buggers. Oh my god! Oh! Sorry, the only reason I'm blowing my mind is because I found that tombstone, the stone sword key, all the way up here, roughly. And, uh, yeah, I just never knew what to do with it, and now I just found it. That That's why I was just blown away. See, like... Like, that's what I mean, is the fact that this is, like, my fifth start, because I started once, deleted it, because I didn't like the character in general. Uh, then I started two summarize, one for stream. Oh, actually, no, I started a, uh, hero... That hero bond, whatever it is, that hero class. I saw one of them in a summary from my stream, but then I decided I actually want to do this as a normal series, not so much as a stream. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just kind of. So I've had like five stars and didn't even realize that. I like the fact that there's a guiding. Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to He's the a lands between Yo. for the Elden Ring. Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. That's plus. So, uh, you can actually kill this guy. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to come back stronger because I struggled with him. Um. So, what... So, what he drops is that there's these, uh, fingers. 
Blooded Fingers, I think it's called. Bloody Fingers, Blooded Fingers, something like that. And what he drops, what they do is that pretty much allows you to invade other people. So I pretty much can just summon and be like, you know what? Fuck this player and him trying to get far in this game. I'm just gonna just ruin everything he does. That's exactly what it do. Golden Ruin. Yeah. So if you come across a bunch of tombs, which I, I remember coming, I know where two sets are to get a real big boost because I'm gonna have to, I'm going to raid them later to get that token item I was telling you about. Uh, the, it's called the Merlic Shackles or something like that. And that pretty much it's like the it's the equivalent to the music box for Father G from Bloodborne. But that at the start it stuns him until he's about halfway. That you're not after my throat. I am not so. Why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Yeah, so this is crazy. You got crafting. Oh, this crazy stuff. I don't have anything to sell. Nothing I would want to sell yet. Goodbye for now. Actually. That. Get to grab some stuff off what him. It's it? pretty much the very first thing you want is a torch because you just want to be able to start diving in caves and they are dark. Oh. Then you got cook. So this is pretty much. Goodbye. Grab those cookbooks. I know. Uh, to get recipes for crafting. That's the whole point of them. Alright. I guess let's... Yeah. So, uh, one thing, uh, if you have a bow or that type of thing, the one thing you want to get in the habit of is actually killing animals because you can make bone arrows. And, uh, I know where to get the lantern too, which I can't wait because that makes such a difference. Um, but... Fine, I guess. Fine, I didn't want to kill. This way. My first cave done. Ah, oh, when you see these glowing dolls. Hey! I'm back here! I'm gonna kill them. Because they give you golden ruin. So yeah, this is going to be a mixture of like explaining tutorial stuff that or just information that I've gathered and then kind of releasing it. So this is going to be one of so yeah, pretty much you got the, the way to kind of pass. You can actually allocate it so you can have two two. I probably will do. No, I'm using uh and uh FP as my resource main attack type of thing. Uh but uh yeah so what I noticed is that there's hero bosses, so like these real big heavy blokes and then there's just world bosses. Wow, this is easier. For now, obviously, like. 
I will get if you kill but oh. Level five. I've never worked out what this. Oh, I just. I love these guys. Legs. That's all they do is on these boys. They'll point out the legs and that. But see how... I didn't want to do that. Wrong button. See how dark it is now? That's normally how most caves are. So that's why you want to instantly acquire like a lantern or... Mistake! <laughs> oh. oh my god. Enemy has fell. I didn't pick a bonus item. Shit. Also about uh, when you p make your character, you get a bonus talisman. I realized I forgot, or a bonus item. I realized I forgot the golden seed, so I actually get a bonus flask. God damn it! I've ruined it all. It's all just. No, we gotta restart. It's all just. No, I can... Not like a near at the moment. Oh boy. Yeah, that's here so i can uh reclaim everything again and uh yeah he's doing both i can't a lot yet i don't have the finger maiden Where's but he doesn't know he's about to get back to that Never mind, he didn't get backstabbed. Now my question is... Oh, actually, curious. Alright, there's no, uh, the L2 is like this thing that you can have a special attack. Just put this. Oh, oh. Wow, they actually can't block much damage. Wow, that. Alright, risking it. Reason so I'm risking it. It's going here. When you see these uh, monuments, statues, those are it's almost like a guest uh, welcoming thing. So pretty much they are uh, they drop maps. You do. Uh, you were out of range for curious because this dude's forever ruining me. Getting closer than I. Right, that's enough now. That's enough now. Let me rest. <laughs> I'm out. So this is the one you have to come to to be able to unlock the finger maiden. So you afterwards. For anyone that's just either stuck, curious, or 
to end the game, I guess. Hello, mummy. Ah, my bear. Greetings. Hello. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. She looks better than any character I've made so far and done in any of the games. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? I uh, Finger Maidens? No, I do not, ma'am. The two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Thank you, ma'am. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace. What have to turn decline runes it. into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this Queef. <laughs> Use it we have a to traverse now. great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Okay. Treat him with respect. Will do. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, All right. the principles you will uh, follow. That one. Ah, uh, so that's my FP. Tries to perform business with the magical pen. I am but a wizard boy. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, this is what the map does. If you find the map... Yeah, we all know how that works. So if you find the map, this is what it does. It allows you to have... Locational ideas of where to go. So I want to mark this, because we're going to go there later. Now. After you talk to her, the very important thing you want to do is go back to the Church of Ella. Because this is how you can make it from hardcore mode to non-hardcore mode, pretty much. This is you want to talk? You want to yeah, talk to this word. witch? A pleasure to meet the tarnished. I am the witch. I'm gonna tell me. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed, and upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call a spectral steed. As I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Well, you have four hands. Crazy me. Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. This is what you Summon want. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. As thou wishest. So yeah, pretty much. Now we go to equipment down here. Now I can summon a pack of three wool. Well, three wool. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be? I wonder. Before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Okay. Anyway, that's where I shall end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you in the next video. Back ya. Yeah.